Hi, and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson, we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking 3D rotating logo effect using Illustrator and After Effects. So anyways, guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we have to do here is we have to open up Illustrator and I'm just running with a 2000 by 2000 pixel document. I'm just gonna press create. So now that Illustrator is open, what I need to do is I need to come over here to the line segment tool. And I'm, so I'm just gonna click on that, click on the screen and I'm gonna enter these values. 650 pixels at an angle of 90 degrees. Just press OK. Then I'm going to come back and grab the selection tool. I'm going to hold Alt and I'm going to make a copy of that segment. So I'm just going to bring it out, let's say maybe 69 pixels. Once I've got that, then I need to duplicate that 16 times. I can do that by pressing Ctrl D. So once I have that 16 times, the next thing that I need to do is I need to highlight all of that and then I need to come over here to transform and change the angle to 300. So once I've got that, then I need to come over here and I need to go back to transform and I need to press on reflect. And all I have to do is just make sure I make a copy. So now we've got those two angles going, we only need one more. So we're just gonna press Control C to copy. And then I'm gonna come over here and go to edit, paste in back. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to transform and change the degrees to zero. So now that I've got my three different layers of lines, I'm just gonna move it into the middle. I'm just gonna zoom in a bit. Now I need to get the Shape Builder tool to actually build the logo. So the Shape Builder tool is here and all you need to do is you just need to make sure that you click on this plus and draw it to connect the shapes together. So what I need to do is I need to make sure that I change that to black. So make sure you change the color to black and then you can draw out your logo. So now that you've drawn out your logo, make sure that you highlight the entire shape. And then once you've got that, what you can do is you can go back to your selection tool, you can double click on it, and then you can move it to wherever you want. So I'm just gonna move it down here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go back to that original layer and I'm just going to delete all those lines that were there. So the final thing that we need to do here is we need to change the color. So I'm just gonna go to color hunt and this is the color scheme that I'm using. So I'm just gonna grab that color here and then I'm gonna take it back to my logo and then just double click this color over here and then paste that value in there and there is my logo. So now all I have to do is save this as an Adobe Illustrator file and then we'll take it to After Effects. So now that we're in After Effects, the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a new composition. I'm just gonna run with a 1920 by 1080 pixel document at around about 10 seconds just press OK. Once we've got that, we need to create the background. So I'm just going to create a new solid and I'm going to call it BG. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the effect, which is called gradient ramp. So now that I've got my gradient ramp on here, what I need to do is I need to change these two values. So I'm gonna to go to color hunt to get my colors. So this was the color scheme that I was using before. We've used this color for the logo and I'm just gonna use these two colors for the gradient ramp. Cool. So now if you wanna change it or play around with some of the settings you can, for example, you can change to radial ramp if you want, but I'm just gonna leave it. The next thing that we need to do is we need to import our logo. So I'm just gonna come back to my project window and then just right click and go import file. So now once I've selected my file, I can just import it as footage and I can just press okay and I can drag this to my timeline so now I have my logo there in the middle of my document it is not 3d yet but we're gonna make it 3d so the first thing that we need to do here is we need to come over here and we need to go to create and we are going to create shapes from vector layer now we're gonna use this um, a little bit later on so don't delete it but with this what we need to do is before we do anything we need to come over here to our composition settings and we need to go to our 3D renderer and we need to change to Cinema 4D and then just press OK. So now we've changed it to Cinema 4D for our 3D renderer. What we can do is we can come over here to our uh, outlines and we can make sure that we change it to a 3D layer. And then if we open up the settings over here and especially the geometry settings, we can go to extrusion depth and we can change this value to 100. And so now if I have a look at that, for example, if I go to transform and if I rotate it a little bit, you can now see that we've given it a little bit of extrusion and now we've got that 3D logo look. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we are going to add a light to this. So I'm just gonna come down here, create a new light and I'm gonna make sure that it's a spotlight 
and I'm going to change the settings to maybe something like this. The intensity to 120%, the cone angle to let's say 113 and the radius to 1171. Now you can play around with some of these settings. I'm just going to press OK. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press P on my keyboard for position. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this around a little bit. So I'm just going to move this light to let's say I'm going to bring this to about 1390 and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring this up to about 360. So now I'm putting the light in that top kind of right hand corner and I'm just going to leave that as well. So now that I've added the light, the next thing that we need to do is we need to loop this. And so we need to start on the animation. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down here to the outlines uh, layer and we're just going to go down to transform and I'm just going to set a keyframe for the Y rotation. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move forward in time to let's say five seconds and then I'm going to change that value to one. And so now if you've done that correctly, you will now see this logo start to spin. And that looks pretty cool, but now we want to loop that forever. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold Alt and click on the stopwatch. And then I'm going to write loop out. And so now if you play that back, you will see that it will spin continuously. Now you can change some of these settings. For example, if you want to bring it down to, you know, make it faster to about two seconds, you can, or you can increase the time. You can play around with it. Cool. So now we've got the logo animating and it looks pretty nice. What we need to do is we need to highlight both those, the light and the outlines layer, and we're just going to pre-compose that. So we're just going to call that logo. So now that we've pre-composed our light and our rotating logo, what we need to do is I just need to turn that off for a second and I'm just going to bring back the initial Illustrator logo that we have. So the first thing that we need to do here is I'm going to look for an effect which is called motion tile and I'm just going to change a few of these settings. I'm going to change the output width to let's say 1000 and I'm going to change the output height to let's say 1000 and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press S for scale and bring down the scale to let's say 11% and so if you've done that correctly it should fit your screen nicely. Now if it doesn't then you just have to bump up the output width or the output height. So the next thing that we're going to do is I'm just going to press R for rotation. I'm just going to change the rotation to 30 degrees. So it puts it on an angle. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to animate the tile center. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come over here, click the stopwatch for the tile center. And then I'm going to press U on my keyboard to bring up those keyframes. I'm just going to move to the end of the composition and I'm just going to bump this up to let's say 6,000. So you can put your own values in, but the bigger the number, the faster that it will go. I only want a very smooth and slow kind of look. So for me, that looks pretty good. And so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to animate the phase as well. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to come over here to the phase and I'm just going to set the stopwatch. So I'm going to bring up my keyframes and then I'm going to move to the end of the composition and I'm just going to bring that up to let's say five and so now if you've done that correctly now you will have two different animations going at the same time and you can change the speed it just means how much you animate it by so the next thing that we're going to do is we can play around with some of these settings for example like mirror edges make sure that it changes it and I think that looks pretty nice so now if we add back our logo, so now we've got the extruding logo with the motion tiled background, which is looking pretty good. Now we just need to dress it up a little bit. So the first thing that we're going to do here is I'm just going to set the um, blending mode for that uh, motion tile background to let's say overlay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some adjustment layers. So I'm going to add a new adjustment layer and I'm going to search for an effect which is called noise. And I'm just going to bring the noise up to about, let's say 8%. And I'm going to create another new adjustment layer. And I'm going to search for an effect which is called curves. 
And what I'm going to do with curves is I'm just going to set a point down here and I'm going to set a point down up there. And I'm just going to bring this over a bit. So you can see what's happening here. The more it goes over, the more kind of dramatic it's creating that darkness, you know. And then you can play around with some of these settings as well. So I'm going to have a slight S curve there to give it that kind of darky kind of look. And then finally, the last thing that we're going to do is we're just going to add a scale animation to the logo. So I'm just going to press S for scale and I'm going to press the stopwatch for scale and then I'm going to move to the end of the composition and I'm going to bump that up to let's say 120. Now with the scale, you don't want to go bigger than what the screen is. So make sure that your scale fits into the composition and yeah, that's about it. You can add some dust and speckles at the end and you can dress it all up as much as you want. But anyways, guys, that's it for this tutorial. Now, when you go to render this, sometimes, you know, After Effects, especially on my computer, once you've got that extrusion and using the Cinema 4D uh, renderer, it does take a lot of CPU processing. So to render this, sometimes you would have to go to your render queue and you can set your uh, settings like this. The best settings to use would probably be uh, to export it as a QuickTime file, so an MOV file, and then you can render it like that. So up to you how you render it, um, if it works this way or if the media encoder works as well, that's pretty cool. But once you render your file, then you should be sweet to use it anywhere else. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching this short tutorial on how to do an extruded 3D rotating logo in Illustrator and After Effects. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.